The Determine HBS AG2 Test Procedure Training for Serum and Plasma Samples. The Determine HBS AG2 test is a visually read qualitative immunoassay for the detection of hepatitis B surface antigen, or HBSAG, in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. Test Kit Components Each hepatitis B surface antigen kit contains one aluminum Ziploc pouch containing either 20 tests or 100 tests, a desiccant package, and package insert. Materials required but not provided, clock, watch, or other timing device, precision pipette capable of delivering 50 microliters of sample with disposable tips, disposable gloves, biohazard disposal container, collection devices for specimens other than finger stick whole blood specimens, and a centrifuge. Test and sample storage requirements. The test cards in the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing desiccant must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 36 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. Serum and plasma specimens should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius if the test is to be run within seven days of collection. If testing is delayed more than seven days, the specimen should be frozen at negative 20 degrees Celsius or colder. Mix specimen well by gentle inversion of the tube immediately before testing. Avoid repeated freeze and or thaw cycles. If serum or plasma specimens show particulate matter or turbidity, specimens must be centrifuged at 10,000 G for five minutes at room temperature before sampling. Test preparation. Open the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing the determined HBSAG2 test cards. Remove the desired number of test units from the 10 test unit card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Removal of the test units should start from the right side of the card to preserve the lot number, which appears on the left side of the card. Store the unused cards and test units only in the aluminum pouch containing the desiccant package. Carefully close the Ziploc so that the cards are not exposed to ambient humidity during storage. Remove the protective foil cover from each test unit. Lay the test unit flat on a flat surface. The test should be initiated within two hours after removing the protective foil cover from each test unit. Do not touch the sample pad. Serum or Plasma Procedure Carefully remove the 50 microliter test sample from the supernatant. If a lipid layer is formed on the surface of the liquid, ensure that the sample is taken from the clear liquid below that layer. Apply serum or plasma sample by touching the tip of the precision pipette to the sample pad. Do not add chase buffer when using serum or plasma specimens. Read the test result between 15 and 30 minutes after the addition of the sample. Do not read the test results after 30 minutes. Discard the used pipette disposable tip, test units, and any other test material into a biohazard waste container. Interpretation of results. Hepatitis B surface antigen reactive, two lines, control line or red line, and patient line or black line. For a valid non-reactive result, one line, control line or red line must be reactive. Patient line must be non-reactive. Invalid result, no control line or red line. The result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact technical support.